All right, let's watch this episode of The Simpsons. It's season 31, episode 2. They picked an episode based on the name. Go big or go Homer. Homer has the good episodes, so we're giving it the benefit. So it starts off at the power plant. It looks like it's Lenny's birthday, and Homer has a card. I like, uh, you know, it's kind of like just a banal uh, setup. Everybody's done this. They signed the card. Not a lot of visual gags. We pause here. You can see all the people's names. Yeah, nothing crazy. This isn't like the machine gun of jokes. I like, I like when Mr. Burns comes through and he has Lenny's silhouette. Uh, so Mr. Burns comes in on a, and he doesn't know what's going on. They, they have a funny joke where a magician pulls a quarter out from someone's ear, but they're wearing a suit so that their ears aren't visible. Mr. Burns is cool with this and he decides to sign. He puts a humongous signature. He doesn't donate and he covers up even the joke on the card. And then on his way out he ruins the surprise. Homer is pretty beat up about this even though everyone's... Eh. Oh Lenny's actually extra happy that Mr. Burns signed the card. It's his boss. He's normally a mean guy. I was surprised that he was happy to sign. Oh uh, yeah, Homer's venting to his family, and even when he's about to get over it, um, it like kills Marge. And then he turns out he's having a nightmare. Pretty funny joke. He says, oh, I had a terrible nightmare. I listened to your advice. But obviously something even worse happened in the dream he doesn't mention. This is a lot of like relatable comedy. He marches into Mr. Burns' office and asks for five bucks, and uh, he gets it. Mr. Burns is happy to do it. We get an old person joke. And it turns out the reason he's being so nice is because his medication. Ugh, gross out humor. Um, Smithers is punishing Homer for asking for five bucks. He's got to work with interns. It turns out the interns are smart. Uh, they all make fun of Homer for being stupid. But one of the interns is like a big fan of Homer's. Homer's got a number one fan. He goes and roasts the whole class one by one. And they all apologize to Homer. Cause this guy knows about Homer because Homer's in the newspaper a lot whenever there's a meltdown. I guess this guy assumes Homer's uh, like a big hero. Even though in the news they say, oh, it turns out he wasn't a hero. I remember the eeny, meeny, miny, mo situation. Yeah, so Homer agrees to mentor this guy. So we wonder how this is going to go bad. He's probably going to get revealed to be an idiot. He has a funny joke. He, they go to the suit store so he can look good for his intern. And it turns out he's wearing Marge's perfume. Because he's like, wants to smell good for the intern. And then he, he's like, oh, for once I'm in charge of another human being. And the kid's just groan. Homer starts talking about he's so happy he has an uh, intern. And just, you know, Homer's a magnetic guy. Every time he gives a speech, people listen. So we get this shot of everyone who's shopping, turns around and gathers around. God, his intern has been blocked by numerous celebrities. And Homer sees that as a benefit. Uh, with the crowd gathered around, Homer's pants get ripped off by the escalator and everyone laughs. Yeah, they'll come around again. They always do. I like that. <laughs> I got your coffee the way you like it. No coffee, just donut holes. This guy thinks Homer's smart. It's confirmed. Homer shows him inspirational posters and then gives vague notions about what to do. The guy is not listening anyway. He's just too excited. He mispronounces nuclear. Subtle. Homer uh, wants to sh have somebody compliment him in front of his family, so he invites the intern to dinner. I think the intern's name is Mike. Oh, that's interesting. The guy makes a Mr. Plow reference. But earlier, Homer's shoveling his driveway and he's wearing a coat that's not the Mr. Plow coat. It's like an Adams coat. And this guy's having a daughter, but he wants to name it Patrick after an athlete. Yeah, this episode's a lot of just relatable comedy as opposed to like jokes. Uh, Homer's wearing the mentor tie. Earlier he had a decent tie and then he had like a really badly made mentor tie because he wanted to look 
good. Yeah, this guy's just a loser. That's his whole shtick. Bart intentionally insults Homer to Mike. So here's, uh, this is probably the best part of the episode. He roasts Bart. Just like he roasted uh, everyone in the class. That's like another thing he does. And he gets them pretty good. Uh, Lisa laughs, but everybody else is uh, stunned. He's pretty mean. He calls him ugly. Bart cries. And then Marge kicks him out for being so rude. <laughs> how, many, how many times do I have to say I'm sorry? Once would be nice. You get the rare, like, cartoon logic where Marge's eye kind of falls like a googly eye. Homer asks Mike about his dreams, and Mike has a single slice pizza business idea. Homer's like, I know where you can get money. I, I know a guy who gave me five dollars. And it's Mr. Burns who was medicated at the time. So it's like he's... Now, this time, he's actually going to go take advantage of him. Mr. Burns insults the idea and insults Homer. And then this Mike uh, goes and roasts Mr. Burns, as he does. And I think the roasts that he does are the best part so far of this episode. It's a good, uh, it's a good gimmick for this character that actually doesn't exist on the show, the way it, uh, he does it. And they step up the animation when he's doing the roasts. I think that was where all the effort of this episode went. Mr. Burns has no reaction, and then he pulls out a gun and shoots Mike. Mr. Burns comes in. I mean, Mr. Smithers comes in and says, Oh, by the way, uh, his he's not on the happy pills anymore. Like, yeah, we know. And then Homer's picking the bullet casings out from Mike's face. And turns out Mr. Burns' musket was like 200 years old, so it was not deadly. But he did shoot the guy in the face. My doctor says I can't get shot in the face again. Mike gets insulted by Bart and then lays his head on the table, seemingly in shame. But then he reveals that his head is just really heavy from all the metal. Homer reveals that he's not a hero. He caused all the accidents. And then Mike shakes his head in disbelief and all the bullet casings come out. The poster said, go big or go home. And Homer was shoplifting it. So he says, I was trying to go big and they wouldn't let me go home. Mike doesn't care, he still wants Homer to be his mentor. And then Marge comes in and slips on the BBs. Mike doubles down and starts his pizza slice business. You want a pizza slice that wasn't sliced from a pizza? Ned wants a full pizza, but it's not available. He has to get them per slice. And it's gonna take about 39 minutes. Uh, turns out he did business with Fat Tony to get his pizza truck off the ground. And his plan is to get the money back on a basketball game, which makes sense. It, he has this obsession with basketball, which was just kind of random, at, and now it, it makes sense. There's a bit of a funny scene here. Uh, he's got the radio up with the basketball game, and Fat Tony and the mob, they're, every time something bad happens, they point their guns, and every time something good happens, they put the guns down. And then uh, he goes to hide at the dump, and you see all of these failed restaurant trucks. And this is what you um, expect to see from The Simpsons, like this uh, bunch of visual gags. You have to pause it to even see them all. Some of them are good, some of them are kind of random, and some of them aren't so good. Like Chicken Pot Arnie's? Arnie doesn't rhyme with pie. I don't understand. Oh, Arnie Pie in the Sky. Okay. Uh, some of these aren't like puns. They're just bad food ideas. The mob corners them and uh, they smell uh, Ned's pizza that they were cooking. And decide to eat it before killing it, Mike. Well, they like the pizza, but they don't think uh, food trucks are profitable because they're in a food truck graveyard. And then Homer has the idea that they could run uh, basketball betting out of the food truck. And Fat Tony says that's a good idea. <laughs> the truck uh, is doing good, and they're also selling weed out of the truck. So Fat Tony's like, wow, your idea was really good, so you're a good mentor. And Homer gets all happy. The end. 
Oh, but then they have a little slideshow at the end. Some visual gags. Pizza's too hot for Burns. Uh, basketball joke I don't get. He's getting his baby signed by a basketball star. He goes to Shark Tank with his idea for some reason. The magician comes back. Uh, I liked how Homer was impressed that Carl didn't write regards, and then no one else did. But when Burns writes his signature, he writes regards. And I like how Mike says he can't get shot in the face again. And then later in the episode, the mob points the guns at his face. Uh, there's also the parallel with Homer. He asks Burns for money, and it's punished for it. But then it turns into something good. Likewise, Mike asks Fat Tony for money at the end of the episode, and it turns into a good outcome for him. There were a few things I didn't understand. Like, why did Fat Tony give Mike money for a food truck, but then states he doesn't think food trucks are profitable? And he comes to collect the money so quickly. And I also don't understand why Homer was not shown wearing a Mr. Plow coat. He wears two different coats throughout the episode. And Mike mentions Mr. Plow. That's the only reason I think he should have worn the plow coat at some point. But yeah, I think it was a good episode overall. And I actually kind of like the Mike character. Um, it would be nice to see him do some more roasts of the residents of Springfield. Well, let me know what you think.